Hello ladies, hello gents. Thank you for being here today. My name is Mira Skende and welcome to 2022. I am so glad and grateful that we were able to make it to another year and I hope you are grateful too. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for sticking out with me. Thank you for being with me throughout 2021. This is going to be the first video of 2022 and onto those video guys. I don't even know the title that I'm going to give to this video because it is something that has bothered me for a while and I think that it needs to be said. Most people in our world today, they don't think about tragedy, they don't think about death, they don't think about things that could go wrong. Yes, it is good to be optimistic, it is good to always think about the positive, that is the way we should go, but we should also face reality. Things can happen in the blink of an eye and we should always be ready for it. So. A couple of weeks ago, my younger sister, she she called me up and she wanted me to talk to a friend of hers. Um, mind you, this friend is married with three kids. So when I picked up the phone, I was like, what's going on? She said she wants me to talk to a friend of hers. She's spoken to that friend and she's open to talk to me. And I was like, what's going on? She said, this friend is married with three kids and pregnant. With the fourth on the way and i was like yeah that's a good thing why does she want to talk to me and she was like she found out that her husband is cheating on her she's always had her suspicion that her husband is cheating she's always known that there's something that is going on but you know sometimes when you think about something until you see it that's when you can really really take it in and believe this to be true so they live in the same city, but there are times that the husband is going to go for days, for weeks without coming back home. And when she asks what's going on, the guy will tell her that, you know that I am a driver, I'm always on the road, so I will not be able to make it home all the time. But we are living in the same city, even if you're a driver, you're driving and you're on the road, but you're not on the road always. And also you have a job that... It's in that same city and it's not like you're a driver full time that I will go for weeks without seeing you. So, how did she know that her husband was cheating? She felt it, but then she had not seen it. Time the husband said that he was going out of that city for work. And she was driving by and she saw their car parked in front of a hotel. She was in the car with my sister. They both drove up to the hotel and my sister was like, don't go there. But this lady, she really wanted to see for herself what is going on. And she saw it for herself, but she never confronted her husband. She went home, she cried as every other woman would do. And now she started having these schemes. That is how she got pregnant for the foot child. How did she get pregnant? with a foot child when she just saw her husband cheating how did she have the mind the body the space you know to really lay down with this man after what she has seen this is why she got the foot child because she has taken it upon herself that since my husband is not responsible since my husband has decided that all his life he's going to be drinking living recklessly sleeping outside and having affairs i will keep on making babies that way instead of him spending this money outside he will spend the money on the children children are a blessing they are people that bring joy to families their birth is something that is celebrated. Their birth is something that most people want to experience. But when your intention of having a child is not because you want to have a child, but because you want to spite your cheating or your reckless husband, that is where you got it all wrong. I understand that you're hurt. I understand that this is your own way of you know, making your husband spend time at home. But even if in the case where he decides that, okay, he will spend more money on the kids, he will still cheat. 
he will still drink to stupor. He will still sleep outside of the home. How does that help you? That will only bring more burden on you because <laughs> I got three kids of my own. And it is hard to raise kids, especially in our world today. Things are so expensive, everything is just going crazy. So raising kids is not only about financially, it's about raising them in a home that they are loved. It's about raising them in a home that is being respected, a home that they can see their parents living in harmony. Life is not all about finances. It is not all about what you can buy for them or if you can pay their fee or if you can feed them or clothe them. It's about teaching them the ways of life. It's about raising them in a way that will make other people in the society be happy because family is the foundation of everything. Everything begins at home. Like they say, charity begins at home. When you train your children in the way that they should go, and never depart from it like the Bible says, then we will have a better society because people who have well-grounded homes, people who are growing up in a home filled of love, filled of kindness, filled of empathy, they will raise, they will grow up and become those kind of people. And that's how the society becomes better. This really broke my heart because before a woman comes to a place where she thinks that she can have babies upon babies, because she wants her husband to spend more money at home. That is depression. That is low self-esteem. Those things have kicked in. She doesn't know what to do with herself. She wants to keep on making these babies become a making baby machine. And what even killed me further is when she said that she was going to have another baby directly after this one. No break because she wants to teach her husband a lesson. Guys, we, we need to do things better. We need to think about the future. We need to think about our surroundings. We need to think about the things that are going on in our lives. Anything can happen. If this man is already living a reckless life, if this man is already drinking just to put sleeping outside, you don't know what can happen. What if he drops dead on one of those his journeys? What if he gets a disease and transmits it to you? Who then will take care of these children that you're making every day? Who then will take care of your children? Because as a woman, you need to put yourself first. You need to make sure that you do your best to be in good health. You do your best to do the things that you need to do because it is no longer about you anymore. It is about your kids and you need to have a sound mind. You need to be of sound mind. You need to have that peace, inner peace to be able to raise your children because children are angels and they are very smart. When you are not happy in your home, your child would know. They can always tell that there is something going on wrong in the house. So making more babies is not a solution to a problem like this. I hope that I was able to make her understand that this is not the way to go and that she will do things better. If you're watching me right now, darling, know that you're beautiful you're smart you're intelligent you can do everything that you set your mind to do do not and i repeat do not let any man frustrate you to a place where you can no longer take care of yourself to a place where you can no longer take care of your sanity to a place where you have to become a baby machine just to get his attention. Do what is right by you. What is right by your kids. And every other thing will fall in place. Remember that with God, all things are possible. This man did not create you. This man doesn't have the right to tell you how to live your life. You cannot make up your mind to keep having babies for this man. Love the kids you already have. Pick up the pieces of your life and mold them to that beautiful thing that only you can do. Please do that for yourself. As a woman, you need to have your own. It doesn't matter how rosy your home is. I'll tell you a story of mine. So my, 
my husband is not the person that will go out and not tell me where he's going to or will not tell me when he has arrived especially when he's traveling and there was this one day i don't know what happened i don't know what came into me but he he traveled and he didn't tell me that he was there i saw that the flight has landed i saw that at this time he was supposed to be where he was going to aim he's supposed to call me to tell me that he's arrived and everything is going on well i called and called and he didn't pick up then at one point in time i was calling and the phone was not going through immediately i kicked into panic mode i started thinking about everything and nothing i thought about how i was going to raise my kids by myself i thought about if i can even afford the lifestyle that we're living at the moment this was a couple of years ago i was pregnant with our last child i asked myself two many questions what am i going to tell the kids how am i even going to live without him how am i going to cope without him how will i be would i be able to afford the lifestyle that we're having will i be able to afford the children's education will i be able to do this will i be able to do that that is not a feeling that anyone wants to be in that is why as a woman the reason why I'm telling you this is because as a woman, you need to have something of your own. You need to make sure that you're working towards a goal. Here was I thinking that maybe he has gotten into an accident. Maybe he's lying dead somewhere. What could be the reason that he wouldn't call me? What would be the reason that he wouldn't as much as send me a text? To let me know that he's okay. And all these thoughts were running through my head. I could not let, I could not make it stop. When he finally called me, I told him never to put me in that situation again. Because it was a hard couple of hours. There are many stories that you hear in a world today of People saying that their husbands left them, their husbands divorced them, and they have nothing. All they have is their designer purses or their designer bags, and they're trying to put them up for sale. They're trying to find accommodation. They're trying to find something that they can do with their lives. I am bringing all these stories to you to make you understand that as a woman, you need to have something of your own it doesn't matter if your husband is a millionaire it doesn't matter if your husband is a billionaire if he's the one taking care of everything of your lifestyle of whatever you guys are doing you have to have something of your own and please guys if you have a woman that tells you that she wants to work that tells you that she wants to do something to bring in something to the house she's not going out there to be promiscuous she's just going out there because she knows that two are better than one you could be bringing in the tons of money but the one that she will bring in might save you guys tomorrow you always have to think about security because there are things that you can afford until you can no longer afford them if you are women with a man with a regular job and you also have a regular job do not try to live like the Joneses do not let social media fool you into believing that everything is rosy or everything is as they seem don't try to match up to people that you don't know how they get their money Make sure that you have something saved up, something invested, something that can help you in case anything should happen. This is the new year. Why you're making those resolutions to stay fit, those resolutions to do other things. Make sure that you have one to become financially independent. Make sure that you have one that will enable you to do something that can make you bring something back into the household ladies it is very very important it is very very necessary i cannot overemphasize this please take heed to what i'm saying never you ever look down on any job as long as it is bringing something home as long as it is legit never look down on any job don't say oh my husband is a millionaire my husband is a billionaire he has all this money there is no reason why i need to go out there and be in traffic trying to get to work or be in traffic or 
mix with people just to get some money because I got it all covered. Even if you are a housewife, with the way the world is set up today, there are many things that you can do online that is going to bring in some income. Even if you're somebody that only takes care of your children, you can do something in your downtime. Your downtime should be your uptime because that is the time that you take to do something that can help your family. If you look at Ecclesiastics chapter, I think it's chapter 4 verses 9 to 10, it will tell you that two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. If one falls, the other can lift that person up. It goes on to verse 12 and it says, if one is overpowered, two can defend themselves. As a married woman, you have to understand that two are better than one. If you're someone who is not married, you still have to make sure that you don't spend all your money on frivolous things. You have something saved up for rainy days. You have something that can pay for the lifestyle that you're going to be living now and in the future. Have kids because they are blessings. Not because you want to spite a man that does not give two cents about you. Put it at the back of your mind that divorce is not the only tragedy in life. Death can happen. People don't speak about it a lot, but it can. If you look at our world today, young people are dying every day. I read something about a woman that just got married. After 10 days of having a fabulous wedding, the wedding of her dreams, she died. How old is she? A lot of things are going on today that we need to sit back. We need to be still and know that God is God. We need to be still and do the things that we need to do for our lives. It is not about the other person out there. It is not about the person next door. It is about you and what you are about. Like I said earlier, Divorce is not the only tragedy in life. That can happen. A business could crash. This man could be a millionaire today and tomorrow he is not. He could have all these businesses today and tomorrow he is no longer having these businesses. There are people who have had businesses and they have crumbled. There are people who have saved and they have lost all that money. Try to be a woman who can lift a man up when he falls. You have to be responsible for yourself and your actions because you will never ever be able to control the behaviors of other people. You have to take responsibility for yourself because no one is guaranteed to do that for you no matter how much they love you. They are not the author and finisher of their lives. Anything could happen to them and in turn, as a downstream effect, happen to you because you were depending solely on them. Thank you for watching today's video. Please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell. That way you can know when we have new uploads. This is a year that we are going to reach thousands. Help me do that, guys. I cannot do this alone. Thank you very much and have a fab one. Make sure that this video reaches everyone that you know because as women, we need to be there for each other. And men, help us to become better versions of ourselves. Thank you guys. I really do appreciate all of you.